Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everybody, welcome to the King's Ace channel. As a highly requested video, I will be covering everything in terms of hardware and software for both PC and Xbox. Hopefully at the end of this video, you will have the knowledge to create the best cinematics possible using Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. If you guys got any suggestions or comments, do let me know below. To get the best visuals out of your simulator, there are four things that will affect the quality of your videos. Three mainly being in-game settings and one being hardware. The most important one obviously being the hardware when creating videos, I highly recommend getting a game controller. It could be any brand, it could be an Xbox controller, a PlayStation or any other type of third party brand as long as it works for your simulator. When using a controller, you're able to make a lot of improvements to your videos such as smoother camera movements, able to adjust the in-game contrast in showcase mode and you're also able to zoom in and out. As the camera controls are usually default in the showcase mode, to zoom in and out all you have to do is hold Y or triangle if you're using another controller and use the back triggers, the right one to zoom in and the left one to zoom all the way back out. If you guys would like to adjust the contrast, all you have to do is hold Y or triangle just like the other one. And then instead of using the triggers, you use the bumpers, the right one to get brighter and the left one to go darker. Now to get smooth video, it will involve both the controller and in-game settings. First, you'll head over to the camera tab and on the cockpit option, you will see free lock speed. Turn that setting down to the lowest and with your controller, you will notice this movement is slower. This is important as you will get less blur in your shots and will also give you the option to speed up your clips while editing. Meaning that when you speed up your clips, you won't have any unnecessary blur, but they will also look smoother no matter how fast you increase the speed. To get the best cockpit shots with your controller, you hold LB and use your thumbsticks. Left stick is to move along the axis and the right stick is to move the camera. Combine both of them together and you'll get the most cleanest shots both internally and externally. For your external shots you can also do the same for internal with the cockpit. Uh, if you use both left and right thumbsticks in opposite directions on something you can set up your own focus on whatever part of the aircraft you would like. Simply if you're going to do a pan to the left I would also pan to the right just as slowly as when you're moving to the left. This will enable the camera to have like a focus on a specific um, area of the aircraft and also it would look a lot more smoother than just moving left and right. Now that all the complicated things are out of the way, we've already got two more things, which will be the weather and the time of day, which can be accessed at the top of your screen, uh, which will have a little cloud icon. Over here, you can control the time, so you can set it to very early in the morning to night, or you can set it to evening. Do recommend a lot of evening shots, and then you can also change the weather. So adding clouds adds a bit more shading and everything to your aircraft. And actually, you will also have the chance to see a couple of reflections on your aircraft as well. What I say you guys do is I have my own uh, presets and stuff, but just go and switch between the different options of cloud presets. If you have your own, create your own as well. You can customize the altitude of where the clouds are at, but sunset uh, videos, as I say, always look the best. You can go for a few clouds and what I like to do is drag the cloud layer all the way up to the top and then that will just create a lot of really cool re reflections and then adding dense uh, density to your clouds just make you can see the big difference in change right there um, but as I said yeah just play around with the different cloud options and settings to see what you guys would think uh, humidity adds a lot more haze I say only kind of use humidity if you're flying in desert areas such as like anywhere in the Middle East so like Dubai and stuff as well or if you're flying in Australia uh, with the desert and then as you can see if you change the time as well with high humidity amounts of humidity you can see it creates like a haze but it just look everything just looks crisp and nice uh, so you can play around with the humidity and stuff and then you change the presets and also uh, for the time you can change the months as well as you can see even though we're sticking with the same time as we change the time uh, sorry as we change the uh, month the sun changes position so just play around with that also and you can see it can get a lot of different reflections depending on the time of the month uh the time of day and then obviously clouds as well um but yeah literally that is all you have to do for weather and time just as a bonus for anyone who is a content creator if you have an nvidia graphics card i highly recommend you download geforce experience and head over to the uh, video capture settings on here i would highly recommend you guys choose whatever the highest output resolution you can do i have 8k because i have an rtx 4070 some of you might see 4k or some of you might see 1080p always recommend setting the frame rate to the highest which will be 60 fps if there's somehow another option then say higher than that but never do 30 i would say uh, if you want your clips to be smooth 
Uh, over here, you've got the bit rate in megabits per second. The lower the bit rate, uh, the less amount of storage it will take. That's the only drawback. But the higher the bit rate, the more storage you'll take, but the quality will be there. Like you'll get a lot of quality. But as you can see, for a minute of 30 seconds of video, that is going to cost me 2.8 gigabytes. So that is totally up to you. For me, I stick to around 100 to 90 uh, megabits per second. So one gig for every one minute, 30 seconds. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial very useful and I appreciate all you guys for the support and stuff on the channel. If you guys want any more suggestions for videos, do let me know. And other than that, have a wonderful rest of your day or night.